with so many stocks yielding more than the 10-year. Is it time for investors to consider breaking up with bonds? For more, let's welcome in Nancy Tengler, Chief Investment Officer at Laffer Tengler Investments, and Marco Papich, the Chief Strategist for the Clock Tower Group. Nancy, what about it? I mean, it, it just doesn't make a ton of sense to do the traditional thing and put this big percentage of your portfolio in bonds right now, or, or does it? No, I agree with you, John. We've been making this argument for, for some months. If you look at the uh, where bonds have traded since the uh, August low in yields and height in prices, they're off about 6.5% while stocks have continued to rally. We, we run four large cap equity strategies, all of which have uh, the yields above the 10-year. Two are really dividend growth strategies, and two are growth at a reasonable price. And the best thing about this way of playing markets or playing your investments is that your your income grows. And so of the list that Dom just mentioned, I would pick, and we own this stock, we own many of them, but I would pick AbbVie and, and uh, Broadcom because these are companies that are not just amongst the highest yielders, but they're amongst the fastest growing dividend payers uh, in the market. Marco, are, are you on board with this? And how should investors be wary or not of the likelihood that some of these companies are going to continue paying dividends at the level that they are right now? I think the broader problem with this situation, John, I mean, I agree completely bonds. There's just a problem in terms of risk reward at these levels of yield. However, for the past decade, the last expansion has really afforded investors the comfort of risk parity strategies where you could basically hedge any sort of a correction with a long position in, in, in bonds. That doesn't exist anymore. In fact, right now, we don't have risk parity anymore. We have reward disparity, which pushes investors to, see, so to purely seek alpha with very little protection. And I think you're seeing uh, that kind of a day today. I mean, there's really nowhere to hide. Um, and I think the message for investors is that, well, U.S. equities did really well in the last cycle because they're really built for a deflationary cycle, for a deflationary expansion, the tepidness we had. Uh, we're not in that kind of an expansion anymore. And, and so we need to seek uh, other equity markets that are more leveraged to this type of uh, expansion. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.